Yeah, so the early growth was trying to structure that training, mm -hmm. uh, starting with one university, because mm -hmm. uh, we need to structure it. Mm -hmm. You know, half a brand. Mm. So, like, uh, like the logo. Mm. You know, we had um, a competition, mm. university students, and you know, a logo competition. Mm. And you know, believe it or not, the one that won was the chicken and the egg. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we tried to change that. Later. And what was the thing? <laughs> Why that? Well, they were trying to this thing about life, yeah. choosing life. Yes. You know, you've got a, an egg that are hatching mm. and coming a chick coming out of uh, the egg. Mm -hmm. So that's what won. Oh. Later, you know, uh, people that thing, but this, this, this is not a good brand. Mm. We tried to change it. I actually hired a consultant, mm. and uh, we spent a whole year mm. coming up with Back a different uh, logo. Yeah. Then we shared that with a with a hey, they almost killed me. Say you dare change that logo. <laughs> Students are like, no. We are the, the we chicken. Are, we are the actual. Yeah. We are the yeah. actual yeah. owners yeah. of yeah. this. It's not you. Yes. So I we said okay, fine. We yeah. just get the consultant and yeah. kept uh, the yeah. logo. Yeah. So so we need we really we need to get a brand. So mm. of course the logo, mm. the blue color, mm. you know, the gold, the gold. and the blue. Mm. So we need to create that. Mm. Create systems. Mm. You know, bank accounts. Mm. Uh, m and &E, finance department and so forth. Mm. And then because uh, David had told us we need to expand, mm. we need to have a plan for expanding mm -hmm. to other universities. Mm. But I thought I would, not, I would do it differently mm -hmm. because I knew whenever we expanded, we needed uh, an office right. and uh, we needed some basic equipment. Mm -hmm. So I organized a meeting with all the vice chancellors. <laughs> ah, brilliant. <laughs> and I said, I, you know, of course, we marketed the program to the yeah. chancellor and said, look, we'll be expanding to, we have an expansion plan. Mm. And next year, we're going to, we want to expand to two or three universities mm. and the following year, to five. Mm. Now, for me, the way I work, I only work with people who are driven mm. and high, high achievers. Mm. So the first VC to give me an office and, and the, equip the office, mm. Um, that the university is going to expand to, mm. and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So by the time I was done, I'd already had universities volunteering and queuing. Oh. <laughs> Which were the next? The first one was actually Kenyatta University. Okay, you, yeah, right. they, gave me, they gave me an office, equipped it, and said, you come as a program. Who was the VC then? I'm trying to remember who the vice chancellor was. There was a lawyer. Um, I can't remember. Oh, so okay. I know it. Right. But, yes. but KU came, came K on board. KU came on board. Yeah. And then we were given Marcelo, Marcelo Daystar, Daystar. Uh, more universities. More universities. We expand all those universities very quickly. Very, very fast. Oh, wow. So both uh, yeah. public and private and universities. Private. Yes. Yeah, they came on board. They came on board. So the program within yeah. the three years that they yes. had yeah. said, we you were able to expand. We were able to expand. That yeah. means now uh, more stuff. Yes. It means more organizational more organization. structures. Yes. Yeah. Systems. And so it means now, so at this point, how yeah. are you and Brent mm -hmm. and that original uh, agreement that mm -hmm. you had yeah. going? Uh, is it, is, 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 so it's supporting you on the structural mm -hmm. end yeah. of, um, of, of, of putting together the training. Mm -hmm. Is it still doing its church? Yes, so the first three years, it was pretty much the training. Mm -hmm. He devoted himself. I think he got carried away. Oh, with the training? With the training. Okay, oh, so he, so you're doing this together? Yeah, we're doing it together. So together. I, as what, what were you, like, um, co-director? Uh, yes, I was, uh, it basically, I was, the, I was, he was like my assistant director. Okay. But I saw him more like a, a, a co-director. Okay, like yeah. a thought partner. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, yeah. okay. Yeah. But he's responsible oh, yeah. for training everything for the first yeah. three years. He structured everything. Okay. And uh, and I'm learning from him. Yeah. But he's basically putting everything together. Mm. Meanwhile, I'm putting the financial system. Yeah. The, you know, admin system. The organization. The organization. The organization of the institutional right. structure. Yes. So that's how yeah. you, you yeah. played yes. uh, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the, the partnership yeah. of sorts. Yeah. Um, and within three years, you're saying yeah. you've expanded, oh, yeah. expanded pretty from much. zero staff yeah, yeah. to uh, from two staff, so yeah. Yeah. and Eric yeah. to mm. uh, oh, I don't even know how many staff. I can you imagine, are. You must have all these universities. Uh, I would say pretty close to sixty. My goodness, yeah, 40, 60. Yeah. How was yeah. it? 
That was, it was a huge pressure because exactly. then you're creating yeah. systems, you're, you're expanding and so forth. Mm. Um, and this is 2004 to yeah, 2004, 2006, yeah, yeah, yes, mm. 2007, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's all this expanding, it was a lot of fun, mm. and um, you know, that's the first generation of I Choose Life alumni, mm. Sudi, um, mm. that's again called Nelson Malenia, mm. Jackie Jaga, mm. Gibson and Rivate, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, who so is now a pastor. Who is a pastor. Huge now. pastor. It's actually a reverend. Yeah, a reverend. So, yeah. Yes. Mm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was the first generation mm. uh, from University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I think Naisula as, as well. I don't know that she was in University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. so, so that's going on. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're expanding. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the question becomes, of, we are limited. Mm. So we need to begin training another crop of trainers mm. so that they can, you know, train mm. the next generation. Mm. So for brand was, because you are very big on quality and mm. standards, mm. was now to train this, the next generation. Mm. So, of course, I think you may know Sadiq Shaban, mm. can you mm. give the current uh, senator, mm. Maura was at KU. Mm. You know, all those, all those guys are now being trained in different places. Mm. And what we suddenly realized mm. is that the university was a very strategic place to be in. Mm. Because what tends to happen is that every every year mm. you get a fresh crop of young people yeah. and another crop gets released mm. in the community. Mm. So you are actually influencing the nation mm. quite easily. Mm. Because these people all go to be very influential places yeah, in the exactly. private sector and public sector. Yeah. And so we realized that uh, we were having a national influence mm. fairly quickly. Mm. Uh, and so, yeah, so for three years, that's what you're trying to build mm. deeply mm. and also at the same time mm. expanding. Mm. Uh, the mistake that we made mm -hmm. was that we did not try to expand our financial base. Uh, we over relied a lot on um, DFID. Mm. And, um, and so that's what now ended up becoming a challenge mm. because we over relied on one dollar. Mm. That's and that's that's a huge mm. first huge lesson yes. on 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 your yeah. now here you have a yeah. new CBO new yeah. NGO. Mm. Uh, your big big lesson is yeah. you know do not rely on yeah. one yeah. donor dependence is exactly. is, is, is a cost yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but at the time you're doing you. Your donor dependence is also yeah. because you're busy building structures yes, exactly. and you're yeah. busy doing the primary yeah. the primary mandates yes. that you have been set up to do. Right. You're you yeah. are excited about yeah. this thing. Yeah. You're excited about quality improvement, mm -hmm. you know, and, and quality assurance and quality improvement yes. and you're excited about the work. Yes. So uh, you probably yeah. aren't thinking about resource no. mobilization no. because it's yeah. not occurring to no. you that this has a end by date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so does it hit, uh, does it, uh, how does it manifest for yeah, you? Badly. Uh -huh. Because then uh, David comes and says the UK, UK funding has been introduced. I think there was a change of government. Right. It, was, it must have been those times of lean. Yeah, I think there was major, there was the IO million. There was a change of government in the UK. Right. And their priorities changed. Mm -hmm. And so one day they call Brendan back and they say that uh, basically within a year they're going to stop funding this. Ooh. Yeah. So this call comes away around around what time? Uh, around, must have been around 2007, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, now we've got 50, 50, 50 some or stuff. So sad, yeah. You're thinking they're all depending on you. Yeah. And the funding is on a component. Yeah. And I'm wondering now, what do we do? Mm. So that was a, that was the first major crisis for Choose Life. Mm. Um, and and so here you have a lot of people who you have contracts. Yes, I mean, a yes. lot of staff who yeah. are having employees. Yeah. yeah. Um, they, I, you're saying the first yeah. crop yes. of ICLs yeah. who you know right now are probably yeah. watching and they yeah. are 
they have gone to become yeah. you know big shots everywhere yes. but this these are the, yeah. the these are the details of what happened yeah. <laughs> <laughs> watch closely <laughs> this is a back story <laughs> so there was a cut of yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yes. all the stuff yes i think the first day uh, now the staff are very committed <laughs> so we discuss what are the different options mm. it's gonna be used by this amount <laughs> so pretty much we lay off some mm. and the rest we're just gonna get a pay cut of 50 percent mm. and we all you know get a pay cut mm. uh, so that we can be able to fit within the budget mm. but at the same time we decide they're gonna develop a strategic plan mm. so that it can be more strategic in fundraising okay yeah okay so three key decisions are made. Yeah. um some staff have to be laid off yeah and then the ones who are left mm. a 50 percent cut yes and then a strategic plan yes in order for it to have a resource mobilization yes. component right. that is yeah that, that ensures sustainability yeah. yeah each of these are not easy no yeah yeah uh each of these has implications yeah. yes. and and uh and i'm sure you yeah. know you know long-term implications yeah um how how is it taken um, it, it was a very hard decision mm. for Brenda and I mm. because you know these were friends, the people that we knew very well, yeah. and we created a culture of um, we used to say I should like is a lifestyle. Mm. So mm. nobody's mm. so laying them off was very difficult, mm. uh, but I think they understood that they needed to be done. Mm. And uh, the positive thing is that in those days when you had an I choose life uh, P indicator certificate, mm. you basically were what. Everybody right. was looking for those kind of mm. and so they got fairly and played fairly. Mm. That was, I think, the positive side, but still very difficult for us. Because mm. um, you also let go of talent. Yeah, also you know, like yeah. people who yeah. you rather actually keep. Yeah. Mm. So like some of the, I think you know, PSK. It was PSK then as yeah. PSK. Yeah. PSI. Yeah, PSI mm. then. Mm. 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 Remember when there was. A point where uh, they had very cool marketing and even the discussion about design thinking and so forth. Mm. Mm. That was actually started by I should like a room I work at PSI. Mm. There were homies of this world, mm. Michael, Michael Wigan, mm. you know. Mm. I, I think there's a time I used to tell the CEO for PSI. Mm. If I came here and I just pulled out my staff, mm. you'd be left with no one. <laughs> <laughs> But they, they went and totally transformed PSI. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, I mean, they were change makers in themselves. And I think in this respect, mm. um, I think it's good that happened because, mm. uh, you know, they were in the public sector, in the mm. private sector, mm. and a lot of them mm. had already changed their career trajectory mm. and decided that the health is what they were not going to do mm -hmm. and behavior change is what they were going to be involved in. And so the behavior, the, the, the component of I Choose Life Africa that, yeah. that triggered a few yeah. of the experiences that yeah. they went to and you mentioned rightfully, yeah. like yeah. design thinking, yes. is the experiential yes. yeah. um, yeah. the experiential element yes. of of triggering behavior change. Yes. So that experiential yeah. aspect yeah. with yes. the end user, with the, yes. with the with the peer educator, with the right. community yes. person, triggers yeah. in a few people. Yeah. You know right. uh, the yeah. that I actually want to be. Yeah. to feel the yes, user more exactly. you know and exactly. so when they go to places yeah. like those where there's yes. a lot of branding yes stuff like yeah. that that's required they yes. want to yeah they want to enhance that a yeah. little more all right very strong and user-centered design exactly you know because we actually life was always based on it's really the predicators mm. that design the program yeah so when people i mean so they come and uh, people ask me so do you involve young people in your program? I'm thinking, what, what do you mean? Our program is designed by the young people. Mm. So yeah, the user-centered design, design thinking, uh, team building, because a lot of them also started um, uh, providing team building consultants as if they were corporate. Mm. I was just with one alumni just last Sunday, mm. and he was saying now he earns, earns 20,000 shillings a day for team building mm. and so you know i know some of those guys were even doing for team building for bat mm. for these uh, safari mm. companies mm. so mm. there's a culture mm. that not only influences the ngo mm. but also you know uh, the corporate culture as well mm. in how you 
in conducting building organizations. So there was sort of like a DNA that yes. uh, a yeah. team building done yeah. by a nice yeah. ally is, is, is a, yeah. Yeah. you can tell it's, yes. it's, yeah. it's, it, it has a, it has yeah. a particular flavor. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Yeah. And, 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 and so uh, these decisions are made yeah. and then um, so the ones who are leaving, the ones who you know need to have, have their pay cut, the ones who need to uh, and then a strategy for for um, for fundraising yeah. for resource mobilization. Yeah. Do you get resources? Mm-hmm.